Hello and welcome to this episode of Talking Trim. I'm Jonathan Skinner and today we're looking at the fully trimmed dashboard face shear panel for the Triumph TR2 up until the end of the TR3B range. Some of you might have seen an earlier video where I showed this panel before we trimmed it along with the material options. Um, so for those who didn't, it's a cinnamon leather dash face shear. So originally it was vinyl, this dashboard face shear. Uh, applicable to the TR2s, the TR3s, the TR3As and TR3Bs. This is obviously for right hand drive car. This is the steering wheel column cut away here. Uh, this is actually out of a TR3B. Um, and easy way of identifying that is this area here normally has a black crinkle paint finish on the TR3As and TR3Bs. Uh, the TR2s and TR3s have material to cover that, but because this is out of the 3A, we haven't got that panel, the customer's still got that. But he sent us everything else and we've re-trimmed it on the new, uh, sorry, on the original uh, dashboard face here. And then you've got the glove box lid here as well, which we've uh, re-trimmed as well. And it's got the backing metal on it there, as per what the customer sent us. A uh, bit of subject to debate on originality, on what color the screws should be, and also whether this hinge here should be placed underneath the plate or on top of it. Uh, but we spoke to the customer and he supplied it like this and has asked us to return it in that fashion. So we have. We haven't trimmed out the um, key area there. That's always best to just do in situ uh, when you've actually got the piece to go in because you'll make the hole actually smaller than it needs to um, be for the full size element there. Uh, but yeah, very nice finish. We've obviously cut flush Around the dials area, we've cut flush there, but we've kept the lip there. And then this gets trimmed all the way around and fits in nicely. Uh, this is the trickiest part here, and this is also the starter block, obviously, which is where the steering wheel column goes. We do a nice top stitch seam, which you can just about see going around there. So that's the, uh, the trickiest part, but overall, not too hard a job. It is fairly time consuming though, um, but not overly tricky. But yeah, nice job. Uh, obviously, like I say, we normally supply just the materials for these bits and bobs, but if you do want to send it to us, we can trim it for you. Alternatively, we can obviously guide you or your trimmer on the best ways of trimming it, etc. Uh, I think that's about it. Thanks for tuning in. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share with other classic car enthusiasts, and uh, tune in for the next episode. Thanks.